Hey, what's good YouTube? J Jamal TV HD. Obviously, we out here with the Nintendo Switch. And as you can tell by the title, we out here again with my new five best grip cases or grip solutions for the Nintendo Switch while it's in handheld mode. If you got big hands, you know, you're not a little kid, but you've got a Nintendo Switch, you like to bang out Mario Kart in handheld mode, it gets a little bit, you know, it gets a little bit crampy on the Nintendo Switch because there's nothing really to grip onto. These cases all try to sort out that issue. Let's go in with the reviews. We got five of them. I'm going to do it from, you know, worst to best, but these are all the best ones that, that you can get. So even if I start off with one, it doesn't mean it's rubbish and that you shouldn't get it. It's just, for me personally, I've, you know, categorized it as one of the lowest in the top range of the best. First of all, YCC Team Flexible Rubber Grip Case. Easy to put on the Nintendo Switch, easy to take off, yeah, a little bit easy to take off, medium difficulty, um, access to all your ports, um, as you can see here, plus the kickstand. Let me just put it on. So yeah, as I was saying, access to all the ports and ventilation and that you need, access to the kickstand. Um, these rubber grips raise quite far off the back of the Nintendo Switch, so it feels very comfortable when holding it, um, especially if you've got those XL hands. Um, and it's, yeah, it's nice and cheap and cheerful, as all of these cases are, but it just does its job. Next thing is the power grip case from Best Key. Literally, it's got a battery pack here and it has got your two Joy-Con handles on the side. So when you slide it in now, boom, you are nice to go. Look at it, that feels nice. It feels like you're almost holding the Joy-Con grips themselves. It's got a smooth or hard plastic finish um, on both sides kind of thing. So um, yeah, it's just it's just generally nice. It just feels like you're holding the Joy-Cons. It even pokes out the side, just like the normal official Joy-Con grips do. And gives your Nintendo Switch up to three charge cycles because there's a 10,000 milliamp battery in here. But obviously, as you guys know, batteries are not light. This whole set here is about the same weight as the Nintendo Switch itself. When you have both of them together, it's a bit heavy. Um, Although it gives you, you know, lots of battery time for that young Legend of Zelda, um, it gets a bit heavy to hold as well. So you might want to keep that in mind if you're getting this for your younger kids that don't necessarily have strong wrists. Um, and it doesn't really protect the Nintendo Switch that much either because it just literally sticks onto the back. But yeah, nevertheless, charges your Switch plus gives you extra grip. In third place, we got the Skull and Co grip case. Now, this case is the initial case I saw when I started to get into finding grip cases for the Nintendo Switch. And the reason why it shouted out to me was the fact that these grips here are raised quite far up off the back of the Nintendo Switch. It gives you a nice feel as well to, you know, rest your middle finger on. And plus, you can switch them in and out. Um, so if you wanna get like a yellow or green or just get another color to match your Nintendo Switch, you can do that. It's not a long thing and you literally just clip them back in and you're good to go. Um, and it fits quite decently on the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, you've got access to all your ports and ventilation. Um, the only thing you don't have access to is the kickstand here. Um, but one thing that is really good is this is actually dockable. You can put the Nintendo Switch in the dock with this case on because of the design they put down here, um, which is kind of cool. You don't have to really fight to take off the case. It is a little bit, you know, medium hard difficulty to take off the case. Um, also, the case covers the R Z and LZ and you know it covers all the shoulder buttons. Um, the way it covered the L button and the R button I didn't really like it so I made a little incision there to take off you know the um, the L and R covers because I felt they were a bit spongy and they weren't allowing me to be as you know um, basically just weren't allowing the buttons to be as clicky as they normally were. They were making it very spongy. Um, so I took those off, but that's why it's in third place. If they had proper shoulder buttons, I think mm, maybe first, second place for this one. But yeah, Grip Case by Skull & Co. Now, second place is a bit controversial. It's not actually a case. Um, they're actually grips that just grip onto the Joy-Cons. Um, but because of their simplicity, 
I had to give them a high position in this little ranking. You can also put your little, you know, Nintendo Switch cards and SD card in each of the handles. But yeah, essentially these just click on to the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, just like that, boom, just like that. I feel like the only problem I actually have with these, the only way I would complain is the fact that they are near impossible to take off the Joy-Cons once they are firmly attached. I mean, it's good because obviously once they're firmly attached, um, they firmly keep the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons in place. Um, and they're very big. They're like, when you hold them, um, yo, you'll feel like the Joy-Cons are twice as big as they normally are. They even raise the R and L Z buttons and the L and R Z buttons or R and R Z buttons, whatever I just said, I don't know. Um, the only thing is obviously it does not protect the Switch body itself. Um, but because it doesn't cover the Switch body, you can actually put on other cases. Let me just show you. So as you can see right here, I've got a normal flip case, everyday tablet flip case for the Nintendo Switch. And obviously that's the Nintendo Switch with the flip case on and these literally just slide in just as normal. They don't get in the way of anything. Boom. Now you've got a flip case with extra grips on the side fam. So you can kind of make combos with this flip case. I'll just show you another combo with my battery pack. So I've made a little video on this before, but just in case you haven't seen it, this is the Antank 10,000 milliamp battery pack for the Nintendo Switch. And that's it on the Switch there. So yeah, you know, you can do lots of combos with these two cases or these two grips because they literally just touch the Joy-Cons. You can fit the Nintendo Switch into the case, into the dock, obviously, um, because, you know, the Nintendo Switch itself isn't covered by these Joy-Con grips. Um, yeah, the only issue is that they're crazy heavy. I mean, no, not crazy heavy. They're crazy hard to take off of the Joy-Cons once they have been securely fitted. And the raised shoulder buttons are a little bit spongier than I would like, but they're still quite effective once you get used to them. Also, I just want to mention, it's very easy to take your Joy-Cons off with these on. They simply slide off as easy as they would do normally. And you can slide them back on as easy as you would do normally. They don't get in the way of the Joy-Cons being removed and reattached to the Nintendo Switch whatsoever. Now, you guys got to let me know if you agree with me. This is my first place, the RDS Industries Go Play Grip. The reason why I picked this is that obviously you get all access to all of the Nintendo Switch ports. It isn't dockable with the Nintendo Switch. However, it is extremely easy to remove. And as you can see, extremely easy to attach literally if you want to remove it you just peel off peel off those and boom okay boom <laughs> you know it's easy to remove extremely lightweight and instead of having a hard plastic grip um you've got this soft rubber grip which um you know gives you a bit more just gives you a bit more friction when you're holding the nintendo switch for long periods of time it doesn't really charge the nintendo switch itself it doesn't do anything special at all but what it does do it does very well it is very simple it's nice and easy to put into your bag and just keep it moving um one of the issues though is that these feel very flimsy once these break your grip is essentially gone um, it does come with a carry case, which I didn't buy because obviously man is on a budget and might send half of these cases back. But, um, you know, nevertheless, uh, it is it's dope. It is dope. It just does what it needs to do. Um, and it gives you a nice, comfortable rubber feeling. Almost, let me just get the Pro Controller. Now, YouTube, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's in between plastic and rubber. It's in between this and this as well and it just it just feels nice and tactile and once you hold it you will understand um literally no issues apart from the general you know um strength of it and it looking like it may break in a, at least a year but yeah guys that's it 10 minute video sorry about that i had to just show you what every case does and you know the strengths and weaknesses um did i mention that this case even doubles up as a stand i feel like i didn't but yeah, shout out to Best Key for, you know, being able to charge your Switch and have, you know, extra grips at the same time. Shout out to, you know, Skull and Co for the swappable things, um, swappable grips. And YCC team for just keeping it simple as well 
as um you know the go play grip by rds industries and these things for being so customizable with everything else that you want to put onto the body of your switch and also for the little game holders there but yeah let me know what your favorite grip was in the comment section below um thanks for watching subscribe and like um and yeah mine will catch you in the next thing j jamo out